He said at times that you and he would have some arguments or quarrels. Mm-hmm. What was he like in those situations? Oh, pitifully weak. <laughs> this is my main criticism of him, I think, after the year and a half of our relationship, is that he kowtowed to me. Uh, he wasn't real masculine. And he wasn't tough. And, and if I got mad at him because he did something, he'd sort of be so apologetic about it. And, and it wouldn't be he sort of stood up for himself. And uh, it was the kind of thing you couldn't really... What was used to getting mad because the person didn't really react. Um, and the things I got mad about for were primarily things like he lied. And it wasn't that he out and out lied. It's that he, he fibbed. In order, and you know, it wasn't necessary that he had to lie, that he'd actually done uh, a bad thing in his mind. It wasn't that. It was that he was saying something that he knew would sound good to me. Instead of um, saying the truth, and instead of saying, uh, my pants are from fear, oh, making something out for what it wasn't, more than it was, to impress me. Uh, of course, it was from a completely different background and everything, and I was very... Uh, Concerned about those kind of things. About his background. Yeah, yeah, and his lack of experience, and I had experience in, in small things like restaurants, and you know, the whole thing that would be possibly important to a young Cohen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did he ever seem to build up anger? Uh, not really. Not that I know of. No, a very passive person. He seemed like. Uh, almost resistant to get into any sort of quarrel fight. And, and no anger there was evidence sort of, you know, between two men or whatever. I yeah. Was, this, of course, was in the early stage. Uh-huh. You know, and then he changed. 